Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is June 12th, 2024. I'm here for my Wordle and Quirtle of the day and for Superman Day. He wages a never-ending fight for truth, justice, and the American way. Unfortunately, when I did this, the sound didn't work, so I'm going back through and narrating. And I'm going to use the word super as my inspiration word. Love that I've got an E and an R but that means that I have to figure out what else I need. So let's put the E in if we can get it. Oh yeah, just lovely, lovely times with this computer. <laughs> this computer may be at its end. All right, and now I have to figure out what other letters I can use. Although I don't have to worry about those last two spots or the E and the R. I can just try to get as many different letters as I can. The common letters, of course, T, L, well, let's back that one up. That one didn't work. Nice little diagonal there. N. And then, do I put the vowels down? I would put the vowels down if I were me. Yes, I am me, so I did. <laughs> I, O, and A. And what am I going to do? What kind of, I could also do a Y, but probably not, unless it's something like layer, and it could be layer. Here, it, you know, it's so funny that I'm narrating because I know exactly what I was thinking because that's what I'm thinking now. Oh, that's a fun D. Um, a D and a G. Maybe I can work with those letters. I like those letters. Um, I don't remember what I chose here. That's kind of funny. I remember thinking about doing linty, but I didn't want to use the Y. So what about... Oh, that's so funny. I don't remember what I tried. Um, lingo. I think I tried lingo. L-I-N-G-O? That would give me two different vowels and absolutely nothing. Shouldn't have tried lingo. All right, let's clean it up. Let's see what else I can do here. Um, I could keep that T, right? And then what else? T-W, I like the W. Um, I also have to figure out the vowel situation. It's either an A or an E. I think we need two. I mean, unless we can come up with some sort of long blend in the beginning, I need a I need a vowel. So what did I come up with? Oh, watch. Oh, I like that one. Good job, Susie. W-A-T-C-H. That gives me one vowel, and it, oh, it did not give me the vowel. Oh, not so good, Susie. What are you thinking? But I got that T in there, and it is placed, so that's good. So I'm thinking I'm going to need another E. That's my guess. Because I have really, unless it's a Y, and I don't think it's a Y, I think an E is going to go there. So it could be meter. And looking quickly, I don't see if it could be anything else. Um, nope. What if... I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Oh, deter. Oh, oh, yes. And then I was so conflicted because I like deter better than I like meter. And so then the question is, which one did I choose? I know. Did I get it in four or did I get it in five? And I decided to go with deter. Nothing was going to deter me from trying that. And amazingly, it worked. And I was pretty surprised because right as I, you know, pulled the trigger, I go, oh, I should have stuck with meter. That's the first one that I saw. It's funny that I couldn't see what else it was besides meter because um, 
the doing this editing, there's stuff in the way that I, I can't see the letters that I can normally see. I can't see what's left over. So I didn't know that D was available. All right, so we're off to Quirtle. I'm going to do my fishy, my budge, my clown, and my tramp. And I got a little bit of green here. And I want that to be trampy, and it can't be trampy. But it could be party. So how quickly am I going to see that? I think I saw that. Oh, I saw it now. Do I see it? There we go. Party. It's funny that I just go to the same things each time. I mean, except for be not being able to see that the D was available for deter. Everything, everything that I'm seeing, and it's not because I remember it. I actually did this two days ago, and so I didn't remember. Okay, so what's this? We can't do the P in the beginning, so I think it's going to be spark. I'm not exactly sure, though, because it would be including that K, but it works everywhere else. The S, the P, of course, the A, and the R. So I think I'm going to wait and see if I can fill in some other things. What is this going to be? Well, I think the S is going to go there. And if that's the case, then it's going to be the word since. All right, S-I-N-C-E. I think that's going to work, and it does. And then it also confirms that there's an S there. Now I've got a U here, and any time I see the U there, I think of a Q, and I think that's going to be quilt. The L could go there, the T could go there, boom. All right, and then this I think is going to be spark. Oops, if I can spell it correctly. And drum roll, please. Here we go. I don't know what I'm doing because I can't see because there's stuff in the way. Oh, come on, just do it. It's spark, right? All right, there we go. And that is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. Sorry the sound didn't work initially. And as always, thank you so much for watching.